I hear the voice of one Christ. I hear the voice of one Christ. Prepare, prepare ye. I'm so I'm so confused by this whole thing. Jesus never had a problem with people touching him for their healing. And you're supposed to be like Jesus. How come you have a problem with me simply brushing against you? Okay, well I'm gonna get this gentleman. Sir, do you mind doing this for me? He said, I can't touch him because I'm the woman. Okay, Jesus had not one problem with women, men, boy and girls touching him. So, sir, could you please come and touch him? Because obviously what this man who's that? supposed to be just like Jesus you just got a problem up, with me touching him. You make it up him. as you go, don't you? What verse is that? No, hun, I think that's what you're what doing. What verse is that? I think that's what you're doing. Show me all these Bible verses that y'all quote, and you show me in your Bible what verse is that. You show me that. You show me in the Bible where it said Jesus had a problem with a woman touching him. You show me that. I mean, Jesus touched women, so why would he have a problem with women touching him? When he said, just touch the hem of my garment. I mean, he never had a problem with that, right? Since you want to go quote for quote, right? You did not just define yourself. Okay. You a hypocrite. So, so tell me. And telling other people. I mean, where's your patience? You know the Bible. Why can't you have the patience of Job? Why can't you have the patience of Job? And you come and preach to us and have patience until you reach patience every you single one of us. Patience with you all day. And all you say is hypocritical, silly, non biblical statements. Man, I just, I just gave you yes, a little Bible verse. Touching the hand of God. Come on now. Yes, you have. Come on now. You make up a different God for yourself. Excuse me. Do you think that God's going to overlook your sin? What sin are you in? What sin Stop are you in? Sin. I'm not in sin. You're not in sin. I've so not you're perfect. Today. I've been obedient to Christ today. Okay, you have not sinned Tuesday. That's are you not judging me? Are you judging me, you hypocrite? No, I did not Stop judge you. judging me, you hypocrite. Oh, so you Stop just it. judge me correct because you I definitely said I was in sin. No, I'm a sinner. Okay. So that makes I'm you a hypocrite. hypocrite. Come, you. If you gonna come, you need to come correct, okay? You just told me not to judge you, but you have the power to judge. Yeah, judge with the righteous judgment, the Bible Because says. you're God, right? Yeah. God lives in me. Okay, God lives God in you too, okay? You can say that all you want, but exactly. the fruit of your mouth doesn't prove that God lives in you. The fruit of your mouth proves that the Antichrist is in you. Okay, and how is that? The Bible. Second Peter, you better just study it. the Bible. That was not a biblical question. You keep throwing the Bible because you expect that to shut me up. That ain't going to work, hun, because I know the Bible just like you claim. You're a rebellious <laughs> woman, that's why. I'm a rebellious woman because I don't accept this, what you're saying. Well, I'll be rebellious all day before I accept Timothy. this that you say. Go read Second Timothy. Okay, show it to me in your Bible, and I want you to interpret it. I appreciate what you're doing, man. Can you hear us? Okay. Can you go find our sign? Some, some guy in a yellow shirt stole us. Well, if you see a yellow guy with our sign, would you get it back for us? Appreciate it. For at least you reached one, but I think you know lost reached every person out here. No, everybody Every person has been confronted with the truth of Christ. And the truth, they need to repent. So tell me, where did you get your the license sinners. to preach? Where, where, sinners, where did you do that? I don't where need a license study? from men. I got a license from God. Okay, huh? God says, go therefore and preach the gospel to every creature of which you are one. Uh -huh. And so I'm preaching to you. You need to repent and trust the Savior. I told Unless you, you do sir, that, you'll be condemned on judgment day. You'll be condemned on judgment day. I don't know I don't want you to be. I don't want you to be condemned. Christ commands you to repent or you'll perish. Okay, Luke I heard 13, that time and time again. Do you know how many times? Unless you, you turn from your sin, you'll die in your sin, you'll be condemned. Okay, so please tell me how to repent. If I've never been to church, are you doing Confess and forsake your sin. Trust Christ as your Lord and Savior. Confess and forsake your sin. Okay, so what, what should I say to Stop confess? Stop sinning lest something worse happen to you. Okay, so after That's the that, words of my Savior, Jesus Christ. Stop sinning, lest something worse happen to you. Okay, so I sinned, but now I'm going to repent. So what does that do for tomorrow when Except I wake up and sin again? Except you repent, 
Like you shall all likewise perish. Okay, you didn't answer my question. You just quoted some little dragon. You have okay. a worldly sorrow, young lady. That's your problem. I have a who? A worldly sorrow that leads you right back to your sins. Leads you right back to your sins. You're condemned. Okay. You need to believe and obey Christ. Not just believe. That's not enough. You need to believe and obey. You need to be quiet and listen to what the Bible says to you. So I don't know how to interpret the Bible. Well, it's pretty simple, actually. It's pretty simple. It's a very simple thing, actually. Uh -huh. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Repeat not hard. Have nothing to do with interpreting. Not hard. Okay, people interpret poetry. But that don't mean they have You're to repent to the poet who wrote the poetry. You're a college so student. Don't you can give me interpret that. it. No, oh, no, yes, honey. I'm giving it to you. No, You're responsible no, for every no, sin honey. you do against a holy and righteous God. You individually are responsible to him, not to me. Okay, I just so warn you of God's you, judgment to come, that's all. I am asking you, don't you like it, but I'm warning you of it. How do I interpret this Bible that I have never read with all this red writing that Jesus said such and such? What do I make of that? Yeah, you don't really believe the Bible, do you? Hun, I do believe the Bible, you but you have to teach me. You God's word over and over. Blasphemy. I'm here to teach, I'm here to preach. You blaspheme God's word over and over again. You're not a Christian. Go okay. read First John because chapter three. you know three. me, right? So you know I'm not a Christian, the right? The fruit of your mouth, the heart speaks. See, out of your heart, the abundance comes. The abundance of your rotten, filthy okay, life. Okay, so I said, so what? Let's repent, right? And then, and then it's okay, right? And then follow Jesus. Live holy. That's what he said. Yeah. Ain't less than that not forgive you of your sins. Ain't less than that people go to hell. I don't like talking about hell. It's the truth.